I kind of just got home and I decided to stream this. I don't have anything written down. I'm just gonna um, go over a list of shit. <clears throat> and I prefer to stream me saying so I don't feel like I have a limited amount of time um, to try to keep my upload size small or whatever. It's just easier for me. Anyway. Uh, this is going to be like a more detailed Heidi SQL tutorial for your WoW server. I went into this. I I, I look back at it because I have memory of a goldfish these days. Um, I did have a video in the last part of my tutorial series. Um... I think it just had to do with adding things to loot tables in Heidi SQL. I didn't really go over everything that you could do in it. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. Okay. Um, basically, you're going to want to go to uh, just Google Heidi SQL. You'll, this should be the top results. You go to downloads and you want the installer. You probably don't want the portable. Um, download, install it, and launch it. And you may get a screen that's pre-filled like that. I think I went over this before, but I'm just going to go over everything again. Just to be safe. Um... All your options should look just like this right here. Okay, you want these two things to be just like this. I would, I think. Pretty sure. And you're going to want this to be this. Because the server runs on your computer. So you want to be routed to your computer. Localhost. VV's unchecked. Um, these should be... Root one two three four five six ports thirty three ten. If you do not know for sure, or if it doesn't work, you can find out by going to you know I got my camera in the way. Let me move this out of the way. Let me make sure you guys can see it. Get that out of the way. Where's my camera at? Hold on, let me see something. Comes out to about here. Okay. Alright, so we'll work in this end of the screen. Um. Anyway. It should say this. It should be this. This should be this. And if you're not sure what these are, even though it should be root 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and this should be your port number, for whatever reasons don't, those don't work, you can go to your SPSP. SPP classics folder, SPP underscore server, S settings, yes. Whichever one you're doing, it should all be the same. Um, real MD config. And you want to go down the very bottom. Uh, this would be these four things of information should match in here not necessarily in that order obviously but this is this would be root and it'd be the username password would be that port number is right here if they're not the same as mine it it doesn't i don't know if it matters or not it should be the same as mine I don't know. Reinstall if they're not. That's my solution to that. Anyway, once you get this open, or set up, just how it's supposed to be, click open. Oh, can't connect to server. This is good. I actually didn't even mean to do this, but this is good for learning. Connection failed. You know why connections failed? Because the server is not running, that's why. So you want to run the server, so we're going to go back here. 
server. Well, I'm going to go ahead and run update because I haven't updated in Lord knows how long. And it looks like they made an update. Who knows what they did. Probably broke everything. No, I'm just joking. Okay. Um, once you're here, whichever expansion, I'll just do vanilla. It doesn't matter. You can edit all three servers just by launching one. Um, and at this point, the database is open. Okay, database window is open. You don't actually have to start your server at this point. Click open. You guys probably can't see it because my webcam's in the way, but let me kind of put it out over here. We're going to go through as many of these as possible in this stream. So it could be long. A lot of these I don't know anything about because I don't touch them. But we're going to go through them all. One at a time. For starters. This is the parent directory of all your servers. Okay. If you only have vanilla installed, you probably won't see these three. I don't think. Um, but you, like I said... You can launch vanilla and have access to these other databases. <clears throat> Why you would launch one to access the other, I don't know. Let's say you wanted to, let's say you were playing one version and you wanted to make the change the same across the other three versions for consistency purposes, like I do, because I'm weird. Um you have the ability to do that. So, without further ado, let's go through it one at a time. I don't know what any of this is. Don't have a clue. Never mess with it. Um, classic Armory. I don't know what any of this is. No idea. Beats me. And since template, don't know what that is. Don't mess with it. I never mess with it. Armory titles. Don't know what that is either. Cash item. Cash item character. These are all blank, so they must not serve a purpose. Um, and this is the classic one. The there it's pretty much the same for every version, these files. Um, except there's obviously going to be more in them because Break Crusade and Wrath have more content than vanilla. So that's pretty much the only difference is the amount of content. Uh, this is actually going to go pretty quick because I don't mess with any of these. Yeah. I guess you can make a custom class if you wanted. Maybe. I, I don't know. No idea. Don't even know what any of this does. Oh, there's item random suffixes that you can put in. You can probably make your own. And that's another thing, too. You use this to make your own stuff. You can make completely customized new NPCs, items. All that stuff. <clears throat> Item sets. I guess you can make an item set here. Um, I never made any custom items. So if you want to figure that out, that's going to be kind of on you. I don't know how to, I could probably figure it out on the fly, but I'm not going to do it right now. Um, don't know what that is. Don't know what any of this stuff is. To be perfectly honest with you. Are these all the spells in the game? I 
Oh. Okay, so this is where you could change any spell in the game, how much damage it does. Um, this is going to be kind of an ongoing theme, so I'm going to explain this now, actually. Uh, I don't know what the effect... Um, the effect uh, number is. I'm assuming it's like a poison, nature, fire, damage whatever i don't know uh, this would obviously be the spell spell duration um but basically this would oh you can sort right here too just so you know um if you just start it this might be sorted and you're basically just gonna want to make sure that nothing's sorted before you try to sort something else. There's a way to sort like three columns at once or something for some weird reason. I never do that. Um, but anyway, the best way to figure out, okay, let's, let's look up a spell because we don't know what these numbers mean until we actually look up the spell. So let me show you how I do that real quick. One second. I want to go to wowhead.com here. Okay. And, uh, Let's say you want to look up this spell, 23620. So we want to use that ID number, because that's the spell's ID number. So we're going to want to go to spell. Oh, it's not in my history. Um, best way to do this, let's just type in fire blast. Two words. So this is going to open up a spell. And we just want to take... So Okay, so it's spell equals. Okay, so we basically want to take this number and replace it with the spell number right here. So you can just click on it, hit Control c come over here, because I have no idea what this is. And you'll probably want to backspace this out. Okay, Burning Adrenaline is this spell. So let's compare... Let's compare numbers here. This is how I figure out, like, the effects and everything of spells, too. So I can figure out what number goes where. 99... 999. That might be this haste value here. This might even be a, like a test spell. It might not even be in the game, honestly. There's, you get everything that's not in the game, but in the files you get in here too. You can add it to the game. You could make this a spell on a on a warlock if you wanted to. So a thousand rent trigger Back trigger. None of these values seem to match. Oh, wait. That's the... This is the damage modification. For some reason, if something is 100, it will be 99 on here. Don't ask me why. It drives me insane. But it's how it is in the data. Don't know why. So, this would be effect 1. Usually, these match these. Like, see, effect 1. Effect 1. Effect 2, effect 2, and maybe you have, what is this, effect? Um, maybe this, I don't, I don't know what the effect numbers are off the top of my head, but duration, 18, 
Where is the duration on here? It doesn't say. But we can probably assume it's 18 seconds. I think this is a, a boss spell or something because it's got like difficulty 40 man. I don't know. We'll come back to this in a second because you don't usually come through here for no reason and just look up spells. It's usually that you have a certain spell that you want to change. So <clears throat> we'll get to that later because I don't usually mess with this. At least not yet because I'm playing Blizz like right now. But I might mess with it later. So let's go to spell duration. And these are spell IDs, I'm assuming. Maybe not. I don't know. Fuck them. Spell icons. You can change your spell icons if you want to. I don't know. Spell enchantments. Item enchantments. Spell radius. Oh, you can change your talents. It's lovely. I'm gonna do that on other cores. That is awesome. I'm definitely gonna revisit this. So how do we look up a talent? What's a talent? Reckoning? Right? Reckoning's a talent. How do I find the talent number, though? Maybe this is it? Rank 1? Let's try this. I'm kind of learning stuff on the fly, too. Like I said, this is completely unscripted. I'm going in uncharted territory. I didn't even know this was here. So, I'm just going to explore it. We'll explore it together. I'll hold your hand. You'll hold my hand. We'll call no homo. We'll walk through it together. 177. Right here. This is reckoning. See? Rank 1. Rank 1. 2177. 2177. So apparently you don't want to look up by talent ID. You want to look up by spell ID. Which would be the various ranks. Rank 1. See what I'm, see what I'm doing here? So, this is a spell, and you can put, if you row four, column two, you can change where they're at. That's crazy. You know, let's, let's, hey, Slim, how's it going? I'm doing, doing my uh, Heidi SQL walkthrough here. So let's let's take what we figured out here. This is a spell technically, right? 2177. Let's go to the max one cuz nobody likes who puts one point in something, you know? Who does that? Um let's go to 2182 cuz that's the max rank 1. So we're going to come back to here 182. This is max rank reckoning, right? 2182. Now, with that knowledge, let's say we want to edit Reckoning. We're going to go to DBC Spells. By default, it should be sorted by this, because it's the first column. But maybe it's not. I like to just do it anyway, just to be safe, because sometimes it's not. 2182. Here we go. This is Reckoning, rank 5. Proc chance 10. Proc chance. What is this? Fucking Burning Crusade? 100% chance. 
That's not right. Oh, these are wrong. This might be wrong. These might be broken. Because for vanilla, it's different. Because it's after you get hit by a critical strike. And in Burning Crusade, it's just that you have a chance after you get hit. And I think it's 10 or 12 percent in Burning Crusade. So this might be busted. In fact, I could probably fix Burning Crusade's Reckoning by coming back into here. It's a long story. Basically, if you miss the first attack, on uh, after you have Reckoning, if you miss the first attack, it doesn't proc the second one. Even though it says extra attack, no matter what. Extra swing, no matter what. It doesn't proc it, so it's busted, but... Ignore that. Okay, that's that's not what we're doing here. But let's say what's effect one? I don't get it. What if you wanted to have four extra attacks? Can we do that? Effect trigger. Effect trigger 178. So is it re-referencing this? Wait. I don't know how vanilla works. Is it like a one-time thing? I never was a paladin in vanilla. And this reference is something entirely different. Are there effects in here? Thirty-two seven forty-six. Let's see if it's down here. Thirty-two. This seems busted to me. This doesn't even have a description. Anyway, that's really weird. I don't think that's right. Um, what's another talent? Let's, uh... Improved Shadow Bolt, right? Rank five. Uh -oh. Shadow Bolt Critical Strikes increases. Shadow Bolt Critical Strikes increase Shadow Bolt damage to the target by 20% until four non periodical damage sources are applied. Oh, yeah, vanilla's weird. That's right. Overcomplicated math. So let's go to 17803. That's this one. Effect lasts 12 seconds. Well, this says 21 seconds, buddy. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and just go past this. I could probably spend all day looking through these. I'm not doing that right now. Um, so let's, we're done in Armory. Let's go to characters, because we're going to start getting into st shit that you might actually use now. Okay. Characters. This includes your account data. This is your accounts. This is your account number. And the account type. I don't know why I have two different types for the same number. Beats me. Account ID. Oh, you know what? We'll come back to this. Somebody remind me to talk about rates. Somebody, anybody, later.
auction house bot items. I don't know how that works, but it's blank. AI player bot guild names. This is all different uh, player bot guild names that can be generated. Feel free to add your own. AI player bot names. This is all the different names <sighs> that could be generated. At least I think that's what that is. I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe that's the names that are generated currently in my server. I don't know. Auction. These are all the items currently in the auction house on my server. You can add and subtract if you want. I don't see why you would. You could just add the item to your inventory. Um, characters. Okay. Got Septajorf. See, I should have more than one account in my accounts. It's probably down here. Yep. Okay. We'll get to that later. Um, this is your characters, including the bots. The bots should always be a bigger number than you. This is your character ID number. You need to know that when you're editing anything really um, in here. And you can create characters. It's not recommended, but you can. You can create entire characters literally just by adding a row. If you go here, insert row. You can do that. If you leave a row blank and you click off of it, it deletes itself because there's nothing in it. Um, so it's advisable that you put something in there, at least the first number, regardless of what you're working on, so the row doesn't just delete itself because it will. Uh, and here, like I said, you can see your race. The race number, again, if you want to know your race number, you can just go to database. You got to use Wowhead for this, you really do, because it's the only way you're going to know what numbers are what. So you want to know what gnome race number is, it's seven. Okay. Um, the amount of XP, uh, current level, money, and the... Uh, Copper, silver, gold. So basically, if you have 10,000 money, you have one gold. Don't know what this does. I think it's something to do with the appearance. This is your position in the world. Your orientation. Total time played. Level time. Log out time. Rest bonus. Death expire time, whatever that is. Highest rank, understanding. <sighs> Health power. Power would be mana or energy. Mana or energy. Um, I don't think power two or three is ever used. Oh, okay. Power two is energy. I guess. I don't know. I'm just making shit up. Um, yeah, when I had to, I had to recreate my characters manually from a different server core because it would not import to this one. Um, basically what I had to do, you can actually see, I still have them right here. I copied the rows from everything that I needed. And I had to make rows on here, and I had to enter in every little thing by myself. It took a very long time. Uh, I found that my SQL worked much easier for me. Druid is 11, there are only 10 in Wrath. What about Death Knights? I think death I think that's a weird one. Aren't death knights like ten and druids are eleven? I don't remember. Uh 
anyway, um, that's it for that. Let's go to account data. Oh boy, lots to talk about here. Let's go to character achievements. This really only has to do, if you have to have the add-on for single player project to see your achievements, I don't have it. So let's talk about something else. Character action. Oh, this must be like your action bar. Yeah. Yeah, this is your action bar. This is the slot number on the action bar. What's there? I don't know what that is. Definitely is not. I don't know, man. But you know what? Let's, let's find out. Let's solve this mystery. And Druid's a class. So let's do class equals 8. Mage. Class equals 9. Warlock. You lied to me. Kenny. Class equals 10. Class equals 10. Oh, shit. Hold on. Class equals 11. Okay. So what are Death Knights? Six? Wrath is weird. Wrath's a weird game, guys. It's a weird, weird game. You could actually make your own classes with this, I think. If you actually took the time and put in all the... Because you can't just put in... Like, for example... Like, for example, there's rows, I'll get to these, there's rows for each level, for each class and race combination for their stats per level. If you put your level cap to 255 and you don't insert anything in those rows, I believe the server crashes. You have to literally go through and flush out anything that you add in or it just won't work. Armor feed. I don't know what that is. Yeah, there's no 10. No 10 confirmed. Obviously, no one that works at Blizzard is a perfect 10 by any sort of um, uh, rateable Tinder scale. So they just had 9 and 11. Um, character aura. This is current auras on your character. This your character ID. These are the spell names, spell auras. Whoever casted that, that's their ID. So you wonder, hey, who casted this on me? You can come in here and you can find them. Just delete their fucking character. I'm just joking, but you can if you wanted. Uh, character battleground data. If I did BGs, I'd probably have something in there. Maybe I don't know. DB version. Don't know what that is. Forgot the skills. I'd make a pun here and say I forgot what this is, but I didn't even know in the first place. So you know what? Gifts. Don't know. Homebind. This is where you can change your Hearthstone. You can actually change your Hearthstone to anywhere it doesn't have to be an in if you use this right here but i don't know coordinates so you can get an add-on for that and find out honor cp um i think that's like a record of your honor or whatever i don't know Character instance. You know, let's talk about this now because I'm going to keep running over it and I'm going to eventually forget. Let's just get this out of the way. When you do an instance in vanilla, there is no right click your portrait reset all instances button. There is a GM command. That allows you to do that. 
In fact, you might not even have to be a GM to use that command. But for raids, you have to actually, for vanilla, I, maybe for all the other ones too, you actually have to go in here and see instance one. I'm tied to instance one. Maybe it's not a raid number. I don't know. Let's say it's instance one. Yeah, this is me and probably my whole raid party. We're probably tied to Molten Core or some stupid shit. Basically, the only way to reset yourself is you want to come in here. Select all the rows and delete them. I'm not going to do that right now, though. And then you want to go to account instances entered. Go in here. Delete all that. And there should be another thing down here. Instance. I'd leave that alone. I'd leave that alone. You might have to delete this too. I don't know. But this involves a server restart. Anything that you do, you have to restart the server. Unless you're doing it like I am. But even then, I'd probably still reset my software anyway. You might not have to if the server isn't actually started. But I could be wrong. ID tip. Oh, there's an add-on for everything, I suppose. <coughs> Character instance. I would discover that. So that's how you reset your raids, and you have to reset the server. Then you can go back in the raid, and everything's reset. Character inventory. This is a character ID. Remember we talked about that? And this is everything in our inventory. The bag, slot, everything. So, that's all the bots. Where's my uh, troll? My troll's in here somewhere. It's number four, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, number four. It's all my items. Uh, I item. This number is not the item number. This is the. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the item number. Because this is way too big to be the item number. I, item identifier. So you can actually highlight this. It gives you a little tool tip maybe. Item global unique identifier. Fuck if I know what that does. Character pet. This is all different pets. So you make a hunter. You can actually add in a pet. Oh. ID number for this. I think this. Hold on. Hunter pets. I'll just click on a random one here. Okay, pet number 24. What's a more common one than I see all the time? Probably tiger or something, right? Cat. So two. These numbers might be unique to the pet. Coyote. Somebody actually named the pet Coyote, so maybe we can use that as a way to pet one. So pet type one, that's not right either. I would just use GM commands to add a pet. It'd be easier than going through this. But uh, you can edit your pet's level here. That's at least helpful. Um, best, basically, the best way to find your your pet on here is to just... This would be your character ID. Again, see the owner? This is your character ID. Owner of the pets. Quest status. Um... This is every quest that you're on or have done. Let's see, uh, let's see an example here. See, status one, reward one, that means I did it. 
this is your progress on it. So you have to kill 20 mobs or whatever. This one says you kill 14. This is the quest ID number, 182. So let's look this up real quick. Quest equals 182. Troll cave. You got to kill 14 Frostmane troll whelps. So this person, he already did all that. He just needs to... Oh, you already turned it in. Well, shit. Um... This means he hasn't, okay, the zero means he hasn't completed it. The zero here means he hasn't even turned, hasn't turned it in. So, and obviously it wouldn't even be on here if you weren't on it in general, because it wouldn't be, again, character ID. You can actually add quests to yourself through here. Why would you do that when you can do it through GM commands? I don't know. But again... Very informative. You want to do a quest down here? What's a good quest name? What's a quest? Um, uh, just type dick, see what comes up. No results. Um, fucking uh, hogger. Hogger must die, right? Hogger. Wanted hogger quest. Quest is 176. That's the quest ID number. In classic, when you add, complete, or remove quests, you have to have the ID number. The other two versions, you can hot link it when using GM commands. So that's helpful to know how to find a quest ID number there. Anyway, my cam is probably blocking that most of the time. I apologize. But anyway, that's that. Quest status weekly. I don't know. Weekly quests. I, whatever. Character reputation, you can add, subtract, edit, character factions. You want to type in a faction ID, how about um, Bloodsail Buccaneers, right? Bloodsail Buccaneers, there's the faction ID. You can make yourself exalted with the Bloodsail Buccaneers if you wanted to. Um... Don't know what that is. I think it actually doesn't that unlock a quest if you're friendly with them. I don't know. Anyway, character skills. This is all the various spells. Spells, skills, or or no? No, these are skills like blacksmithing. You want to know your skill ID? Same thing. Just type in blacksmithing. Uh, skill right here. See skill skill ID boom. There's your skill um, See this person's got blacksmithing, but he hasn't done anything with it But you can make yourself 300 out of 300 if you wanted to Again all this you can do with GM commands too. It's probably easier. Well actually no with skills and rep It's actually easier to get the exact number you want with Heidi SQL than it is with GM commands. But that's a rarity in terms of things being easier on here. Um, character social. Character spells. Okay, this is all the spells that you, your character knows. I could go to my troll mage. He knows a thing or two about a thing or two, so he's got this long list of spells. <laughs> Spell cooldown. I think this would be like your Hearthstone and shit like that, like items maybe. Character stats. You can change your character stats on here. I. See, the thing with this is, I'm pretty sure, like, if I were to change this on like a level 10 and it hit level 11, the stats would actually revert, I think. Unless it adds on top of the stats that are already in there. But you also got to think that these stats include items, not just your base stats. So. Character talents. Talent name. Tutorial. I guess it's your tutorial status. Corpse. This is all the dead people. Um, This actually isn't character ID for this. This is, see the player, this is your character ID. This is where all their dead bodies are. 
in case you want to know where to find dead people. Creature respawn. Sure, it's something to do with uh, creature respawns. I don't really mess with that. I just respawn them using um, gem commands. And there's all this stuff, but I have it turned off, so it means nothing to me. Game object respawn. There aren't any game objects that are despawned, so I'm assuming that's why this is blank. Event status. Don't know anything about that. Game surveys, groups. Okay, this is all the groups in the game. And their leader, which would be the character ID. That's their leader character group instance. Um, this is another thing that you might want to delete, but you don't have to. Honestly, you should probably disband your group. Then go in here and delete the things that I said to later. Or maybe, I don't... Or maybe you could just delete, I don't know. Maybe you can keep your group and delete this, I don't know. Group members. It's members of every group. Right? Uh, or no. Yeah, like number four would be my group. It's your group number. Characters in the group. You probably won't ever mess with that. There's actually things on here that people have asked me about in particular, but I'm kind of just going everything over everything that I know now just to get it out of the way. Because someone's going to come up to me and ask me at some point, hey, how do you, um, how do you remove people from your guild in Heidi SQL? And I'd be like, you could just r kick them out. And they're like, I want to know how to do it in Heidi SQL. And, you know, okay. Um, they go here to guild member and delete the row. Boom, they're not in the guild anymore. Guild IDs. These are all the guilds in my server. This is mine, Kramerick Industries. This is the guild leader. Guild leader uh, character IDs number. Emblem style. I don't have an emblem style. Nor a color, nor a border style, because I haven't made a tabard yet. I should do that. Um, guild rank. This is all of the rankings in every guild. I don't know why you would mess with this stuff when you can do it in the game. I don't know. I'm sure somebody would find a reason to, so I'm making a I'm I'm keeping I'm adding this into the video. Anyway, I'll be right back. I need more beer if I'm gonna keep talking about editing guilds and SQL. Won't be unnecessary, but it's fine. Okay, instance. I think that's active instances. Probably what that is. Instant reset. It's the reset time for raids, I'm assuming. Let's find out. Let's find out. Hey, let's find out. Database. Or is it zones? Instances. Uh, raids. Uh, let's do Blackwing Lair. Zone 2677. Well, that ain't right. What's the map ID? How do we find the map ID?
Mm, let's just put this on. Let's just see what happens if I do this. Not found. Was it in here? I'm streaming. That's going. I'll figure it out. Initiated. Okay, so this this is a complete fucking lie. All right. To find out that number, you want to go to instance template under your classic mangoes. And go to find your number 509. That's that's AQ, okay, or ruins of AQ. So that's one thing Wildhead can't help you. Sometimes you have to cross reference the information in here to find out what number's what. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that or minimize that item instance. I don't know what this is. No idea. Item loot. No idea. It's blank, so it's probably not important. Item text. I'm sure that does something. Mail. Here's your mail. You can put a message in here. If you want. I fucking know. Mail items. You can say... Here it's mail, and you can put an item in the in the letter and add a row, and this is the receiver. Apparently, bots are actually buying stuff on the auction house because this proves it right here. Because these are all bot character IDs. I'm not even on here, and this is all their their stuff they got in their mailbox. They should probably get their fucking mail. Petition. Petition sign. Pet Aura. There's people asking me how to get bots, how to get petitions to work, because apparently petitions are crashing. Um, I had somebody actually ask me. I can't even click on my damn petition without it. I can't even hover over it without it crashing the server. Well, quit looking at it. Well... This might not help you. I would just go to your character. Let's let's a oh, perfect example. Um, let's say we had an item in our inventory and it was crashing the game whenever we looked at it, and we couldn't delete it because of that. So we go here. I'm gonna keep coming up with hypothetical scenarios because they're very common. Um, item. Let me two. Item uh, template, that'd be the item number. So let's say you wanted to get rid of this. Just delete the row, it's gone. Okay. And then restart the server, load it up. It's not there anymore. No more problems. Okay. So, pet auras. I'm not a hunter, I've never been a hunter, believe it or not. I'm somebody that hasn't even leveled, max leveled a single character in any version of the game until just a little bit ago when I got my troll to 60 in vanilla. And yet I've never played a hunter. So no, I don't know what these do. Pet spells. This I'm assuming this is your pet ID and not your character I ID. I can't get to it now. Can't get to it now. Go, go around the... Closet, right? Go around the coat tree. So now I have to move shit and set my shit down every time I need to get to it. We'll have to figure something out. It was fine where it was. I'm probably gonna actually take the shoe shelf out of the closet. We're just gonna have both shelves next to each other by where the coat tree was up against the wall. And we're gonna move everything down a little bit because she's got her own table. I'm gonna turn the table end tables this way so we can fit all that in there. And it's gonna be very nice. It's gonna be, it's gonna be wonderful. It's gonna be like you're gonna say it's the greatest ever. You know, it 
Every time you impersonate Trump, I just want to shoot you. Not that there's anything wrong with Trump. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. I'm just annoying. Anyway. Player bot save data. Don't get me started because I don't know. Saved variables. There is a saved variable. Ask a ask a dev about that because I don't know what that is. And they uh, maybe they don't either. I don't know. It's because there's a lot of things on here that people don't never fuck with because it's not necessary. World world state world. I don't know. Maybe this is if it's raining or something. I don't know. Anyway. Basically, the things that you're going to come here most of the time to see are probably your inventory, your pets, quest status, um, and character, maybe. I don't know. You're not going to come to this one very often. Classic logs. Skip. And I'm only going to do the classic part of this because these are the same. I think. Yes, they're all the same. It's just that they have different stuff in them because they're different versions. So don't worry about it. Uh, character mangoes achievement category achievement don't don't care about any of this. You'd probably care more about it in wrath. Let's look at wraths. Let's just look at wraths for a second. Access requirement. Oh, right, 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 right. That's for different raids and instances. Because I don't think Vanilla had an access requirement. I could be wrong. Uh, here's your achievements for Wrath. It's probably more applicable to that, but, you know, whatever. Uh, achievement reward. Nobody cares. Maybe you care. Maybe you get an ID or item. I don't know. See, this is weird to me because there's a level 80 achievement in vanilla. I don't know. Beats me. Reward locale. Don't know about that. Oh, maybe it's for different languages or something stupid. AI player bot RPG races. I don't mess with this. Don't mess with that. Don't know what that does. Don't know what that does. Actually, I probably would not even touch this. Because this looks like it would fuck you up. If you mess something up. So, don't... Don't touch that. Auction, don't know. Don't care. Battleground, don't care. Um, broadcast text. This is for... Probably various scripted sequences and events, the text that people say, like when the NPCs yell or whatever. Oh, these are the GM commands. I wouldn't mess with that either. Conditions? I don't know. I don't know about this either. Uh, creature, here we go, now we're getting into the fun stuff. This is what everybody, most people, were asking about. Because there's two ways to edit your creatures. There's the config, and then there's this. The config is much easier and much less of a hassle. But sometimes, there are specific spells that you just can't nerf without... Fucking up the whole raid and making it super easy. Um, Cthune's ricocheting eye beam thing is a prime example of this. I've literally ran it on 0.01%. That'd be 1%, actually. That'd be just 1% spell damage on bosses, and it's still vaporized. Half my group. 
so there's no way around it. You have to remove spell damage entirely. But with this, you can actually go through and edit each individual spells, but not in this one. I'm getting ahead of myself. I apologize. These are all the creatures and NPCs in the game. Okay? All of them. All of them. All of them. This is their, their position where they are. Spawn time. This actually doesn't do anything. This one, you'll probably never go to creature. Creature add-on, you probably never go to. Creature AI scripts, probably never AI summons. Probably for minions, maybe? I don't know. AI text, battleground condition. Mm, I size. Equipment template, I don't know. Immunities. I don't know. Involved relation, I don't know. Linking, don't know. Loot template. Loot template. Let's talk about loot template. This is the creature ID. Okay. So what does, uh, what does Hogger draw? We're going to keep using Hogger as an example. Okay. 448. Well, it says here he drops a bunch of stuff. Right? He drops a few greens. Oh, well, let's go. And look at the percentage. Look at the percentage on here. On Wowhead. This is the percentage. But that's reported from various people. That's reported from... Um, I should say somewhere. <sighs> I don't know. Anyway. Um, so we want a hogger. Well, first we need to reset... Are sorting sort by entry because this is the care um this is your mob id right here and we want to go to 448 this is hogger from here oh i just noticed that if you click a number it highlights all the numbers that are the same in the column. That's actually quite useful. So yeah, Hogger is from here to here. These are all the items that he drops right here. These are the items he drops. So let's, uh, let's click uh, Hunting Bow. 8180, right? Why is it? Try carving knife, 2140. Okay, this is what it says it is. Some of these don't have comments though. So somebody's full of shit. Cause that's not in here. Wowhead's a liar. In case you didn't know, now you know. Um anyway. This is all hogger these are the items that hogger drops this is the percentage chance in which that the actual percentage chance in which the item will drop positive numbers drop all the time negative numbers like this one only drop if you have the quest However, on this server, there seems to be a bug 
with numerous quest drops to where they do not fucking drop, even if it's a 100% chance. So sometimes you have to come in here, you have to take this, and you just make it positive. Restart the server, and what that's going to do is the huge null paw claw is going to drop all the time. Whether you have the quest or not, it's just going to fucking drop all the time. And you can change this to a 90% chance, 80% chance, 1% chance, 102% chance, though I don't know why you would. Uh, I don't know, maybe... Maybe if maybe you're Michael Jordan, and if it's not 110 percent, it's not good enough. Okay, maybe. All right. Um. But we're gonna go ahead and leave this negative for now. If I come across that it's broken later, which it probably is for some reason, I'll just change it. <coughs> um. Nice thing about GM commands is if you feel like you're getting fucked by a server bug or a crash or whatever, you can. Catch up real quick and then some, and give yourself some reparations for the bugs. Okay. Oh, thank you, DeJoy. I appreciate that. Um. So. A little recap here because. Um, got Alzheimer's and forgot what I was doing. This is the creature ID. Creature ID. See, NPC equals right here, this number. That's your creature ID. You type in any creature. You want to type in Kazakh? Type in Kazakh. Or Kazakh. His ID is 12397. And then you just scroll down here and let's see what Kazakh drops. I demonstrated this in my last tutorial, not the last one, because the last one was talking about using Hamachi on here, but I demonstrated editing loot tables and templates on there, so I'm not going to go into any more detail right now, um, but yeah, this is, this is Lord Kazakh right here, and this is what he drops. Why? What is this? The fuck? He dropped shit for me. He dropped a bunch of stuff. It's not even on here. Just, just ignore it. What do you want? No. Love you too. Okay, so again. NPC ID. Item ID. Percentage chance. Negative risk request. Like you see, you know, the, um, the murloc heads or the crab claw or crab legs. And Swamp of Sorrows, you know, you'll see that they have like a negative 0.02% chance to drop. That's accurate. Um, group ID. I don't, I don't know what group ID is with this. I really don't. Is it percent? No! It's like, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. That it basically drops, it calculates items from one group. This is how I think it works. Don't hold me to it. Calculates items from one group if they drop or not. And then it calculates items from another group if they drop or not. Maybe that's how it works. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't make the game. Shut up. Men are, men are talking. What do you want? based off of a group that drops a certain item for certain quests. That would be its group number. No, the group, that's different. That's determined, if it's a quest or not, is determined by whether or not it's a negative number, the chance. 
That determines if it's for a quest. The group ID, I'm assuming, is just being calculated. That, that loot is being calculated separately. Or maybe it's based on a condition. I don't know. But it's not what she's saying. Um, Like when you're grouping with somebody? I don't know, man. I honestly don't know. I could Google it right now, but I don't want to. Um, max count. I guess that's the max amount that he drops. Makes me wonder if it's calculated additional, additionally. I don't know. Because these aren't even, there's nothing. This is a bad example. Who's this guy? He seems pretty important. He's got a lot of items. Who's this guy? Ah, oh, shit. I hate when I fucking do that. Oh, Am Anvil, Anvil Rage Captain. He drops a bunch of different stuff, like residue, and he's got some cards in his pocket. Oh, he drops a lot of cards. I'm gonna start farming this guy. Anyway. Um... And again, like I said in the previous video, if you want to edit, if you want to add an item to this, add a row. Um, I'm not going to do it right now because I already made a video. I'm, I want to do it right now again, but I'm not doing it because I already said it. I know for a fact I already said it. Character model info. This is like if you make your own character, you can uh, designate their model in here, I think, maybe. No. These are model ID properties. I don't mess with this. Model race? Don't know. Character movement? Don't know. Character movement template? Don't know. On kill reputation. Um, this is for if you kill stuff. If you kill these creatures, you get this. You get. Um, you get rep with this faction and this faction. And it works up to this standing. So, like, I think this would be what friendly here, number three. And then after number three, it doesn't, or after friendly, it doesn't do anything. Um, this is the amount you, of rep you get with the first faction. This is the amount of. Max standing two. Oh, this is oriented weird. Okay, so this is the max standing you get with the first faction. This is the rep per kill that you get with the first faction. See the value one, value max standing one. Everything has a number here. All right, there's the rep, the faction one, faction two. You'll notice that when you kill certain things, you don't get rep with any more than two factions. Um, and this is would be for. Faction 2, max standing 7. You know why that's 7? Because you get negative rep for killing this mob with that faction. You can change that if you want. Like, if you want to get real cozy friendly with the Blood Sail Buccaneers, you can make it to where killing... You can literally make it to killing deer in Elwyn Forest gives you 100 rep with the Blood Sail Buccaneers. I shit you not. You can make it to where if you kill Kazakh, you are exalted with everyone everywhere. If you want. You might have to add the creature ID in multiple times. I think you can do that. But you only do two fractions at a time. I don't know. Anyway, that's something you can do. It's kind of cool. A little knowledge right there. Quest relation. Um, I think... I think it has to do with, like, if one quest... Well, no, there's a quest template for that. 
with creatures that are related to a quest. Hmm. Let's figure this out together. This would be the NPC ID, right? So 197. Who's 197? Marshall McBride. Okay, he's the guy that you talk to in Northshire. Well, what quests does he give? He starts 10 quests, right? How many quests does he start here? Let's see. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay. Investigate Echo Ridge. Quest number 15. Oh, he starts that quest. So again, if you wanted to make your own quests, you would first have to go down to uh, quest template, which we'll talk about later. I want to go through everything one step at a time, because if I start skipping around, I'm going to miss shit that might potentially be useful information. <laughs> So let's say you made your own quest down here, and you had your quest entry ID. You come up over here. And you add it to an NPC. And again, you would use Milehead to look up the NPC that you want. Or what Kenny said, there's apparently an add-on called uh, ID tip. That you can get. Spawn data. Maybe spawn time? I don't know. Spawn data template. Fuck if I know. Don't mess with any of this. Don't mess with any of that. Spell list. This is... Uh -oh. This is the creatures. Creature ID. Oh, let's, let's clear our filters here. I think this is creature ID. No, that's not creature ID. What is this? These do something. And they seem to be more related with uh, mobs that have slightly more advanced mechanics. Modify your own risk. Uh, spell targeting. This might be creature aggro logic. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Okay, creature template. This is this is the one you're going to come to a lot. Probably more than any other database, minus maybe spell template. Okay, let's talk about this. And again, we're going to use Hogger for example. Do we remember Hogger's ID? Anyone? Anyone? Too late. I'm already putting it in. Four. Four something. Four forty-eight. We're gonna use Hogger again. You know what? You could literally. I could have literally just hit reset sorting this whole time. Anyway, four forty-eight. Let's go to Hogger again. Hogger. And this is true for everybody. Just pay attention. Hogger is in a level a level eleven. His min minimum is a level eleven. His maximum is level eleven. Why would these two ever be different? Well, let's say let's go ahead and duplicate this tab. Give me a murloc. Give me a bluegill murloc. 1024. It even says on here, he ranges from 20 to 21. His ID is 1024. So let's go down to 1024. You can, it might be easier for some people just to look it up by name. In fact, you could probably do that and it might just skip you this step. This is just how I used to do it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a chest slapper. 
Bluegill Murloc. 10, 20 to 21. So when Bluegill Murlocs spawn, it's at random, and they could either be 20 or 21. You can make it to where he's 1 to 60 if you wanted to. Anyway, back to Hogger. 448. <laughs> so, Hogger is a level 11. He can't be a level 12. He can't be a level 10. He's always a level 11. That's what that means. His model ID. Um, he's a Knoll. But he's also Hogger. I think Hogger has a special mo model ID. How do you look up model IDs? I think that would be back in characters, wouldn't it? No. No, it was in this one. Creature model info. I don't mess with models, so this is a learning experience. 384. So let's sort by this. 384. Okay. Maybe this is his size? Hitbox? I don't know. Anyway, you're probably never going to mess with that unless you want to make, like, the King of Stormwind, um, Old and Storm Rage. You could do that. Also, don't add raid bosses. To the open world to crash your server. Just saying. Um, that tip was free. Uh, all right. Faction. There's so many different factions for mobs that blow your damn mind. So we're not going to talk about that right now. Creature type seven. That would make him humanoid. Seven is humanoid. I know that. Inhibit type. I don't know what that is. Regenerative stats, 14. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it just means it's basic when he's out of combat, he regens. I don't know. Racial leader. Unit flag, 64. I don't know what unit flags are. I don't know what extra flags are. I don't know what, I don't know what any kind of flags are. Okay. This is his movement speed, 1.2. This is the speed when he runs. So apparently he is a slower runner than he is a walker. Some people are like that. Some people fast walk. But when they run, they do it with such a short stride that their fast walk, which is a longer stride because they stick their foot out further, is actually faster than their run. Some people are like that. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> like, let's say you have... Um, Like, you ever notice, like, in Flintstones, when they're in the car, it's just like their feet are moving real fast, right? But when they're actually running, you know where I'm going with this. A uh, health multiplier. This is kind of weird to me. Because he has 666 health, but his health multiplier is 3, but in game he has 666 HP. So I don't know what health multiplier does. I would just ignore that. If you want to edit the health, I recommend that you edit the actual number over here. <coughs> this is the power multiplier and damage multiplier these actually do have an effect for example take his damage multiplier it's one right minimum melee damage max melee damage it multiplies this all right which is why you will see bosses that have raid bosses. 
that have like this stat right here 193 to 249 it's the same as an like a normal elite but their multiplier is like 75 okay so one thing that you can do we're gonna i'm gonna kind of talk about this too is a lot of people have trouble with bosses because the bots aren't that good one thing you can do to nerf bosses or any mob for that matter is maybe take their multiplier down by 0.5 or something and just leave the other stats alone <laughs> the power multiplier this involves spells and abilities of any kind damage multiplier i believe like 97 percent sure is just their basic attack the power multiplier is all their abilities and spells um Damage variance, I don't know what that does. Armor multiplier, well, that probably works. Experience multiplier. Self-explanatory, get double XP for killing Hogger. I think that should be a default, don't you? Uh, minimum mana, max mana. Minimum and max are always... Oh, I see. It depends on the mob. Like, if they're 20 to 21, they might have a different minimum and max health. Oops. Alright, so let's keep going through this. Where was I? Shit. Okay, minimum, max, melee damage. Sometimes these numbers are different. Sometimes they're the same. Um, again, I used to get caught up editing these when I would edit mobs. Don't. Just edit the multiplier again. My best advice to you: range damage, same thing. Just at, edit the multiplier. Armor. Um, some most of these are actually one arm run times armor. So you would probably edit the armor if, like, say you wanted melee classes to do more damage to somebody. Edit the armor. Mm, attack power. I don't know what. Uh, this does has to do with the melee damage. I don't know. I really don't. Um, this changes. Am I still on hogger? Yes. Okay. This is also helpful. This changes their attack time or how fast they attack. Larger number, the longer it takes for them to attack. The smaller the number, the quicker they attack. And it's, there's a melee and a ranged damage school. I don't mess with that. Um, the max, minimum and max amount of gold they'll drop to loot. Uh, their loot ID. Now, I don't mess with this. Except this number is usually always the same as the creature's number. So, I would just edit the loot template as I showed you in earlier and in the previous video. Uh, um, I guess we can go through these. These are usually always zero. Kill credit. Skinning loot ID. If you can skin them, you can make it to where you can skin hogger if you want. Uh, certain immunities. You can change his resistances. His pet spell data ID, I don't know. Movement type 2, 1, I don't know what that does. Trainer type, I don't know. Maybe it's if you're editing an NPC. You could make him a trainer by editing these things, but I'm, I, I don't mess with that. I usually only ever mess with the damages. Um... <laughs> Vendor template. You can make Hogger a vendor if you wanted to. You can sell you some, I don't know, wool cloth. I don't know. Uh, you can make Hogger a quest giver. And the quest could be to kill. Um. I don't know, somebody, the guy at the watchtower by the, uh, by the wanted poster that you turn that quest into, you can make it to where it's like, hey, I'll pay you double to kill him. 
You could do that. But since he respawns, you could just do both, right? You can do a lot of things with this. I'm not even exaggerating. I mean, what I said sounded stupid as hell, but you can actually do it. Template add-on, I don't mess with this. Template armor, don't mess with this. I don't mess with this. I don't mess... Don't mess with this. Okay. This creature template spells. This is the creature ID right here. NPC ID. Set ID. Don't know what number that is. But these are the spells that they cast. Okay. So let's go to the biggest defender in my book. Cthune. Let's go to Cthoon. Drop by Cthoon. Abilities. At fucking I beam. Twenty six one thirty four. What's Cthoon's ID? Seventeen twenty seven. You do need to know the mob ID for this one because there is no. Um, comment. What was it? Fifteen twenty, fifteen seven twenty seven. Oh, no, this is right, but he's not here. <sighs> Honestly, the more I think about it, this isn't that useful, this, this page. Because I've had occasions where I would delete spells off of a list, and they'd still cast them. So I would probably just ignore this one. Got some text. Don't, I don't know what any of this does at all. Something about scripts. Edit at your own risk. Fishing loot. Oh, uh, you can add uh, different things to uh, that you can catch. If you want to be able to fish under like uh, the bridge by Strothom and get Ashbringer out of the water, you can put it in here. Game object. This is all the various game objects in the game, like chests. You can edit their loot here. Same way that you do a mob. Uh, object ID. Fuck. See, that doesn't work. Oh, here we go. Go to, yeah, deposit. Right? Object ID 404. That should be on here. Hold on a second. Classic DB. Let's try this one. Classic DB.ch. Because Wildhead's really weird right now. Because Classic apparently has slightly different numbers sometimes. That's not in there either. What about 405? Oh, some of these might not actually even be in the like game. I don't know. Let's try 2279. 
Because these are object IDs. What about this one? No, that's not right either. Mm. Right here. This is up. I think. No. Well, what fucking number is it? I mean, this is obviously the object number. <laughs> Reading a treasure chest. Copper vein, shellfish trap. Why are those numbers so big? Poor horseman chest. <laughs> they could be objects that are in the game files, but not actually in the game. Like, Wowhead has items that are in the game files, but not in the game, such as Ashbringer, etc. But maybe they don't have the objects. So, I could probably launch WoW and add object 404 to the world and find out what it is. But I'm not going to do all that right now. Um, don't know what all that stuff does. Spawn entry. Quest relation. If an object only appears... You know how some things you can only interact with if you have a quest for it? I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Game event. These are all the different game events. And you can start them anytime you want. You can change the length. It's a holiday. Link to, I don't know what that does. Occurrence. Schedule type. I don't know what any of that does. You'll probably have to figure that out yourself, to be perfectly honest. Um, Omen. Omen only spawns. Um, during an event, right? So fifteen four sixty seven. Is this even sorted? No. Oh. I am so confused. Creature data. Game event. Whatever. Oh, these the event time. Um you can I've changed this before, but I don't think the year means anything. But you can change when certain, like, holiday events start, I think. I, mean, I know I'm getting kind of lost here, but I don't really mess with a lot of this stuff. Event quests. Um, I'm only going to tell you what I know. For, you know, for now on, I'm just not even going to try to explain all this stuff. If I don't know it 100%, I'm just going to keep going. Game Graveyard Zone, I don't know. Game tell you because I only like I said, you know, I only ever really mess with stuff 
like creature templates and spell templates. Um, in fact, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna click on each one of these anymore. I'm just gonna kind of go through item. This is what I was thinking. <laughs> item loot template is for in-game objects. So for 4632, that's going to be on here. Objects are known as items in IDSQL. I'm not fucking crazy. Whatever, I give up. Item template. <clears throat> Would you stop? This is where you can edit items, make items. Um, I'm not sure about class and subclass, but uh, you can go ahead and say... Warrior's boots. Warrior's boots. Yeah, let's just let's use this as an example. Here's the price that you buy it for. Here's the price you can uh, sell it for. This is our vendor prices. Inventory type. Don't know what that is. Allowable class negative one. I guess means anybody can use it. I don't know. This also might be a unused item too. It's a pretty generic name. Item level, you can change the item level. Required level, five. Required skill, zero. Um, required honor rank, you can make that a thing. Required city rank, you can make that a thing. Stackable, how many you can have in one uh, slot in your bag. So one for boots, which is stupid. I think you should at least have, like, two. Um... Here's the stat types. You want to know what stat types are what? Or what stat is what number? Well, strength. Bear with me here. I'm I'm looking. Um, agility. Maybe. How did I find it before? Oh, this is how you find out. Um, let's do this one since this actually has numbers here. What is this? Warrior's pants. We're gonna take this number. And we'll put it in an item equals you better not fucking give me that one screen again okay yeah, so, uh, so it gives one stamina right 94 armor one stamina normally okay so let's look th look here seven and stat values one so we can assume that seven is stamina so pretty much the only way you're going to know is if you look up each item and see what stat is what on the item. And I would probably keep a notepad. I think I have one in my documents folder. A notepad document that is just each stat and its corresponding number. Um, but yeah, you can come in here. You can change it. You can add stats. You can give it 
make it give you plus 1,000 spirit if you wanted to. Um, I think you can go that high. I'm not sure. Uh, and it will actually reflect in the text of the item. I've been on cores where if you edit the item, it doesn't show you that change. But on this core, it will show you in the item text, which is really cool. Um, and again, you can have up to five stats. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You can, apparently, sky's the limit, I guess. You can have it add... This would be for weapons. So what's this? Icicle rod. Which is what item? Nine fifty or twenty nine fifty. Icicle rod, two hand staff, fifty one to seventy seven damage, four intellect. And it gives you an equip bonus. We'll talk about that in a second. Um 51 to 77, you can change that. You can change it to 51,000. 77,000, maybe, I don't know. I've had issues with um, stats per level that you can't go over 255 for whatever reason, but that might not be true to this. I haven't, I haven't tried. Hmm. Ugh. Oh. And apparently there's all sorts of different damage things that you can put into it. You can have it give you armor for no reason. You can have it give you resistances to various magics. Um, is this the right one? Hold on, I want the selective because this has the equip thing. And it increases your damage by frost spells and effects by 10. So you know what, how do we find that number? 10. Where's that number? 10. 10. 10. 10. Oh, guess what? It's not on there. I'm going to tell you why in a second. I was just testing you. I knew it wasn't on there. Um, but before we get into that, let's talk about the various other things. Like if you have a bow, you can change your ammo type. You can have a bow, sh bow shoot bullets. You can have a gun shoot bows. Um, you can make scroll meat a form of ammunition. I'm not joking. You can make... Wool cloth a form of ammunition. If you went through and edited it and did it that way, you could do it. I'm just telling you. Um, I don't know what spell trigger is. Throw cooldown, spell triggers, bonding, description, page material, start quest. If an item can start a quest, I believe this would be one. No, it's what quest it starts. Okay. Anyway, I want to go back to Icicle Rod. Where was that? 29.50. I'm getting a little tired here, not gonna lie. But I'm gonna bear with it for the better of humanity. Alright. I'm a trooper. Max durability, you can change that. This is all pretty much self-explanatory. If you just look through this yourself, you'll see. But I want to go over where to edit the equip bonus here. If we go back... To here, we'll see a spell ID. Let's copy this number. In fact, we don't need to copy it. Just remember, it's 7703. And we're going to go down to spell template, which is the other um, database that you're going to use a lot. So 7703. Even items have spells. Because the spell is what gives you the buff. If that makes sense. 7703. That's what it was, right? Where was that? Yes. So this is the buff from the item. Now let's find 10. I bet you we find it. I bet you we find it. 10. 
Tan. Tan. Or nine, because it likes to do that too, remember? Looking for a ten or a nine. There's effect six. We'll talk about that in a second too. Yep, see here it is. Base points nine. So you want it to increase your frost damage by 90, you can just put 90 here. If you want it to increase your frost, fire, holy, arcane, fart damage, you can fucking... First you put in... Uh, first you put in... What the fuck do you put that in at? Fuck, come on. This must be spell school? You're gonna have to figure this one out yourself, because I don't normally change or add things like this. I never have. But you can probably figure it out by cross-referencing various items. So. Anyway, going on to the next thing. Don't care about any of these. Don't care about any of those. Um, don't care about any of these. You can probably mess with this NPC text. If they don't have text, they say greetings. All your NPC trainers. You can add trainers here. Um, you can also add what spells they train here. Trainer ID, NPC ID, spell ID, spell cost to train, require level to train, card skill to train, NPC trainer template, vendors. Just like with uh, mob loot templates, object loot templates, vendors, here's your vendor NPC number, 66, who's 66? Let's look his ass up. 66. Therian. Bowden. He sells that there. That there red dye. Which is item number 2604. Sure enough he sells it. You can't change the price of the item from here. You have to do that in the item template. Okay. Uh, and you would change the, the, the buy amount to change how much the NPC sells it for. If you want to change how much the NPC buys it for, you need to change how much the item sells for. I need another beer. I know what you're thinking, so it's pretty fucking obvious, but you know, we've all been 10 years old. And what if, think about it, think about it. What if some 10 year old, some nine year old with a decent computer came across my videos and wanted to play WoW single player? The original WoW. And he got it running. But he doesn't understand the difference between the buy and the sell. I have to dumb it down. So maybe, by some weird, weird chance, that the younger, disadvantaged, Special people can understand and experience everything for themselves because single player WoW is a gift that deserves to be 
experienced by everyone. There should be no limitations based on intelligence, age, race, religion, penis size. Whether or not your clitoris is shaped like a corn dog, it should be experienced by everyone. There should be no uh, discrimination. Anyway, let's keep going here. Uh, NPC, what they sell, what items they sell. Um, if it's zero, you can buy as many as you want. If it's one, that's all they sell. And this is the time it takes to restock. What is this item? I bet you it's a recipe. 6270, 6270. Duh. Slot. I don't know what. Maybe you have to assign it to a slot in a shop. <sighs> Notice how there isn't a one here. There's ones here. No one's here. But I I would honestly I would honestly just look at the max number if you're adding and just make it like one more number, like sixteen. I would honestly just do that. But I'm pretty sure when I add like mounts to vendors. I never edit the slot thing and it just appears in there anyway. Like, look at this guy. Like, his is just anarchy. Who, who is this guy? It's probably a goblin. That's no, dwarf. Eh, he just sells whatever. He's, he's got all the, he's got no sluts, slots. So, always, you don't have to use, for anything that has comments like this, you don't have to put anything there. But I advise that you do, so you don't forget what the fuck you were doing. Okay, so you don't have to go and look that item number up again to figure out what you put in there. I would just put it in here. Okay. Um, again, add row. This is the same for anything. If you want to add anything, it's insert row. Put the NPC number you want to have, sell it. Put the item you want to have, sell it. Max count, increments, whatever. You can have Kazakh sell uh but give me um what's the uh you can you can have him sell uh the uh, love is in the air items. During that event, if you want, you can have him be like a fucking bachelor. Just start selling any Valentine's Day stuff if you wanted. Um, <laughs> you can have Hogger sell you his his claw like like hey you don't need to kill me i'll sell it to you chop it off myself just give me 10 gold for it at level 11 10 gold come on it's a steal anyway um vendor template and vendor see i don't I don't know the difference. They both seem to have the same rows. Edit your own risk. I only ever uh, edit this one. Pet create info. Uh, I think this is more for warlocks. I'm pretty sure. Spells to create certain like void walkers and stuff. Uh, pet family stats. Um, this would be for, let's go back to this, because this actually applies now. Let's go to Wind Serpent, Pet Family 27, 
here it is. This is the base stat multipliers for a wind modifiers, I should say, for a wind servant. <laughs> Level stats. This is shit. I think these are all attainable tameable creatures in the game. I don't know. I would... You can mess with that if you want. I never... Like I said, I've never been a hunter, so I, I don't mess with it. I don't know. Pickpocketing loot template. These are all things you can pickpocket, or I'm assuming NPCs that you can pickpocket. Um... I've never been a rogue, so I don't know. Player create info. Oh, this is where um, you start baseline your class and race. You can change that. Don't know what that does. Don't know what that does. Don't know what that does. Okay. I've edited this before. Um, this is every single class. Class number. Talked about that earlier. Level. Upset class. See, so it goes up to 60. Burning Crusade will go up to 70. And Wrath will go up to 80. And this is the base HP and mana for that quest. This is obviously a warrior. But see, the base HP for a warrior is 20. 29 at level 2. 38 at uh, level 3, 47, 56, 65. You can change that if you want. You can give your warrior mana, but I don't know if we'll be on the bar. Um, player level stats, this is even more in-depth. This is every class and race combination, because every class and race combination has different stats that go up differently every level. Level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5. You can change all this, and there is no quick way to do it unless Kenny can tell me a faster way to do it, and I would love to hear it. If there is a way to... Um... I don't think there is a way to do it. I'm not sure. But, like, let's say you wanted to change... I don't think there is a faster way to do it. You could spend hours in this, probably. Player XP for level. Um, you can change the XP requirement for each level. Points of interest. Uh, I believe... I think this is... I don't know how that works, Pool creature, don't know. Pool creature template, don't know. Uh, pool pool, uh, don't know. Quest giving greeting, uh, quest template. This is where we make our own quests. Let's talk about this for a bit. I think this and spell template are probably going to be the only ones that we really talk about in depth. Um, for the rest of the video here. So, quest template. This is your quest ID. Let's look up a quest ID. Notice how there's no one or two. This is probably something to do with one being in the beta or whatever. Um, quest number two. Sharp Talon's Claw. Um, this is actually great because it requires a quest and it unlocks a quest. Requires an item. Okay. Let's see if we can decipher this. Uh, so minimal level, minimum level to access the quest. The quest level. That those, these are two different things. Um, 
I think the quest level is like for the median XP. Even though this says 28 is the median. I believe this is telling me 30 is the median. Required races. Don't know what that means. Required skill. Skill value condition. I don't know. Other than rep, I don't know why you would mess with any of that. Uh. Mm, shit. Uh, where is it? Fucking. Where is it? Okay, see so yeah, how it's previous quest ID? You would put, if you're making a quest chain, put your first quest, second quest, or whatever here, the prequel. And you put the quest that would be unlocked after completing this one, the sequel. Right here. Okay. And then the item. 16305. You know what? I bet that's this item. Oh, wouldn't you know when I was right. And you need at least one of them. And you, you know, here's the quest text, details, objectives. You can edit all that. You can have it say fuck, 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 fuck if you wanted to. Um, there's required item ID. Again, required item count. I don't know why this is on here twice. Maybe this item... Oh, yeah, it starts the quest. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is the required item. This is the required item count. See again, ID 1, required item ID 1, required item D, count 1. That means this... Fuck. Reset. Where was I? Okay, at the top. That means this number, that means you need one of this. You can have it to where you need 30. Um, Mooncloth too, if you wanted to. You just add in another item ID and another amount requirement. Requires source ID? I don't know what that is. I don't know what sources are. I don't know. Required creature or gold? Creature or gold? Why is that... We'll look at a different quest after this. Oh, this must mean the amount of rep that you get for this faction. See? Um, is this is like the gold reward. I don't know what this is. Hold on, what's the reward for this? Zero. So why is there even anything there? It's weird. First, the turn-in guy, though. Oh, uh, you know what? I think you actually have to assign that in the NPC template. Anyway, let's go do a quest that involves killing shit. Um, Murloc. Murloc poachers. Now, um... 
Cobalts. Cobalt candles. Cobalt can't clean up. There we go. Number seven requires you to kill ten Cobalts. Cobalt vermin, to be exact. So let's go to quest number seven. Quest levels two. It's the minimum. The median level, as you can see here, one is yellow. I'm sorry, I got this fucking behind my shit. Anyway, see? Quest 7, number 7. It's the quest ID column. I know it's probably obvious. I'm going to say some obvious shit. Because I want to beat the stupid question before the stupid question gets to the comments. Does that make sense? I'm just kidding. There's no question too stupid. You have a question, just ask me. But I'm trying to cover everything so there is no obvious questions. Okay. I think that's why people like my tutorials so much. As I go into such excruciating detail that there are no, usually no questions. Um, required races. Again, I don't know what that does. I'm, I want to get to the... The count here. Six gold. Oh, well, it wants me to kill ten of those, right? Yep, ten. So I don't know what this does. Oh, it's not saying gold. I'm so fucking stupid. It's, it's, uh, G-O-I-D, whatever that is. So I'm assuming this is gonna be our cobalt vermin, am I right? I'm right. So you would put your mob ID here, and you would put the amount that you need to kill here, okay? There. Anyway, again, you can make quests at a row. Make your quest. I would probably mirror most of this shit. Um, what is zone or sort? Nine? Yeah, that doesn't exist. Google it. Best I can tell you. What is hold on, what is entry six? What is this? Maybe it's the pre quest thing. See these are both in I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, you would insert your quest, do your best. It might take some troubleshooting. And then you have to go to NPC template. Um, where is it? Or no, it'd be creature template. I'm sorry. Creature template. And uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, no, no. no. I'm sorry. It's not creature template either. NPC I just fucking looked at it. Quest relation. Yes, quest relation. You add it into your quest relation to the specific NPC. Um Okay, I think we've covered enough there. 
Reputation reward rate, I don't mess with that. Reference loot template, I don't mess with that either. Scripted events and texts and waypoints, I don't mess with any of that. I don't mess with any of this. Bonus data. Um, here you can actually edit, because you'll notice, for example, um, that you will have a, say you have, let's see, find an example on here, these mages, fireball, or no, flame strike, perfect example. You pick up an item, and it says, uh, increases your fire damage up to 27 or something, right? This here is the percentage of that bonus. Okay. So you're not getting, you, you'll, you'll see that you're like, hey, this isn't increasing by 27. No, it's actually this percentage of that 27 or any total bonuses that's being applied to the initial flame strike. And this is applied to the dot, the AoE dot, after you cast it. So if you wanted 27 or the whole number, you would just change this to a 1. And this to a 1. Would that be broken? Maybe. Probably. But you could do it. Um, you can also change it to a 10. And it increases it by up to 27. Well, that's false advertising because I'm getting 270 out of this bitch. Right? You could do that if you wanted to. And it's the same thing with Wrath. They have the same spell data and, and Burning Crusade. They have the same spell data data um, sheet, except with Wrath, it's spell power because it's a blanket thing in Wrath, right? Um, and it would just be the percentage of that number. Same thing here. Arcane Missiles. Um... Searing Totem Attack, Rank, whatever. Um, it's weird that some of these have ranks and some don't. I, I don't understand why. You could change it if you wanted to, I guess. <clears throat> like Curse of Agony, you're only getting 10%. Corruption, you're only getting 15.6%. Uh, of any bonus so this is where you would change all that this is a very useful sheet it's one of my favorites to mess with um spell chain uh, maybe you need to know something in order to learn something else i don't fucking no man i'm telling you i don't want to spell cone cone degrees this would probably be for you like your cone of frock cone of cold or whatever the hell it's called you could probably change the area of effect in here i don't because that would look kind of weird with the particle effect and i don't want to nah, i'm not doing it spell to learn a spell i'm assuming that's what it is spell loot template ah Is there a spell you cast to loot something? I don't know. Someone tell me in the comments about this one, because I, I don't know about this one. What spells do you cast that give you loot? I can't think of any. Pet auras, proc events. Would this be like Reckoning? Maybe. I don't know. Spell scripts. Spell script target. I don't miss any of this. 
Spell template. This is a, the, probably the biggest one. This might actually be bigger than creature template in terms of how much time you're going to spend in here. This is every spell in the game, every rank of every spell in the game. Um, so let's remember how we couldn't find Cthulhu's I beam. You remember how we couldn't find that? Let's find that now. I bet you we find it. Let's go here. Abilities, I beam, number, remember 26134. 26 one, and his is a perfect example because it does a little bit of everything. 26134. There it is. There's his I beam. Um I don't know what these attributes numbers are. I'm just ignore them. It might be damage type. I don't know. Casting time. That might be casting time. Oh boy. I don't know. Proc chance. Why it's 101. I don't know. I don't mess with it. Um, range index might be the range of the spell. I don't know. We're not here to talk about any of this. We want to get down to the real deal here. Um, die sides. I don't mess with, but I'm assuming this is some form of RNG damage multiplier. Because you have your die sides, effect die sides one, and then you have your effect base points one. And the die sides affect the damage in some way. I usually just decrease the base damage. I don't mess with the die sides. That's my best advice to you. So this is the initial damage from, as you see here, it's 26. You can't probably see it because... Or no, you can. I'm I'm just above it. See how this says 2625. Well, this says 2624. Again, it's don't uh, whatever. Just edit however you want. Okay. Well, I'll head full of shit half the time anyway. So let's leave it 2624. Um. All right. Where is it? Okay. You see. What's implicit target A1? I don't know what that does. But the thing about Cthune's eye beam is that it ricochets. You know how many times it ricochets? If you said 39 times, you're wrong. It actually ricochets 60 times. So what is the worst thing about the eye beam with bots? It is this. It is that it will one-shot your whole raid because the bots don't spread out, because the bots don't care. So you can actually turn this down to like one, two, four. You can adjust it and and uh, along with the base damage to where he hits initially for a thousand and then this multiplies up for three targets and that's it. If you want to do that, you can do it any way you want. You can have it do no damage at all. You can have it do whatever you want. Um, so, this is why I said the creature spell template thing. Just ignore that. Just go to Wowhead. Find the damn spell. Where Where is this? Lich King, right? Or no, no, no. Kel Kelthos, or whatever is Kelthasad. What's his spells that nobody likes? Oh. Detonate mana. I don't know, but you can edit them. It's because you're going to find occasions where you run into a boss and it's not that he has too much health. It's not that he does too much damage. He just has this one spell that completely fucks with the bots and you can go through, you can go to spell template and you should find it on here. 
Again, this is the spell ID. You should find it on here. And you can edit it accordingly. Spell threat. This is where uh, any spell that generates any kind of threat, this is where you find it. This is the spell ID. This is the amount of threat that it generates right here. And this is the multiplier. And apparently, what's spell 8092 out of curiosity? Because that's got a weird number. 8092. Mind Blast. Fucking weird. Anyway, you can adjust how much aggro um, spells cause. You can make tanks better at holding aggro. You can make druids better, paladins better. You can just find the spells that you want to generate more aggro, or you can even add them in. Um, and you can adjust the amount of threat that they give, the threat multiplier, and do whatever you want. Taxi shortcuts. I'm not messing with that. I don't mess with any of that. Vehicle accessories, I'm messing with any of that. World state name, world template, don't mess with any of that. Alright, let's talk about, uh, player bots. I don't mess with any of these. I would probably see I yeah, I don't mess with any of these. Hmm. We'll skip that. Real MD account. This is where you find your account. Mine are down here. You can delete them. You can make them. Well, actually, I wouldn't make them through here. You can delete them if you want. Accounts banned. Um, anti-spam blacklists. It is so weird that these are in here. Wow, okay. Um. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's continue. IPs, realm characters... System fingerprint usage, website captures. Um, that's some really advanced shit. My SQL, I never mess with that. Never mess with that. Never mess with that. So again, these are the same as these. I think I covered everything. Can anybody in chat think of anything that I didn't cover? How long have I been streaming this? Holy shit, two and a half hours I've been talking about this. Holy fuck. Um, anybody think of anything I didn't cover here? Character skills. I covered that. Talents. PvP stats, yeah, I, like, there's a, there's a lot of things on here that I might be able to talk about more, but they're, you're never going to use them, probably, because the only things you're going to really use on here are things that you can't do via GM commands, and that's things like, um, uh, boss damage and stuff like that and another thing too no this is not one thing i did not mention you don't you don't have to restart your server for every single change if you have gm commands which you should because you should always give yourself gm if you type um if you type dot reload it will give you a list of these databases that you can reload without restoring the server. Uh, creature loot template is a perfect example. Where is that? Uh, 
creature loot template, you just type dot, dot reload space creature underscore loot underscore template. It will reload it, and then boom, your changes are right there live. You don't have to restart the server. But for things like creature template, things like spell template, you will have to restart the server. I hope one day they come out with a reload command for those because those are probably used way more frequently than loot template. Um, but that's a little piece of advice there. Um, I can hope I covered everything. If I didn't cover, if anybody still has any questions after this, feel free to comment. Feel free to join my Discord. Um, message me in there. I'll, as soon as I'm able to help you, I'll help you. If I don't know the answer, I can find out. So, I think that covers everything. Are you going to play the game tomorrow? Fuck. Maybe. It's the day after a holiday. I don't know how heavy tomorrow's gonna be. I'll, I could try. We'll see. I should, though. Like, I haven't been... I haven't played for a week now. I, I should. I should just force myself. I like to just come home and sit in my chair lately. I'm turning into an old fuck. But I'll try to force myself. Um, anyway, yeah, I think that covers everything. So, um, thanks for everybody that stopped by, Kenny, Slim, DeJoy, uh, and for everybody that will stop by, I hope this answers, I hope this tutorial helps. Um, like it, like the video if it helped you out, if it answered your questions, don't like it just because I'm cool or handsome, um, cause I already know that I, I'm more concerned about whether or not this video helps people. So if it does, it helps you like the video cause I'll know that it actually means something. Um, other than that, toodles. Bye. Oh, have a good night, Kenny. <laughs>